man and woman bite the apple of sin, which is the heart. And heart is an anagram for earth, shown by supplanting the letter H. Yet, if we add another H to the opposite side, we get the word hearth, which by definition is home. As it has always been said, home is where the heart is, and the heart keeps the flames of love and evil alive, because the heart is the hearth that works both dualities. Someone can be enraged and want revenge against another, and this desire for revenge burns in their heart. Or someone can feel the greatest level of compassion and kindness towards another, which makes their heart swell. The heart is the hearth, because a hearth is a brick or stone lined fireplace that keeps a home heated. This led to the commonly known expression of a heart made of stone, which initially indicated a place of stability and is also responsible for the allegory of the sword in the stone, which is indicating our spine slash heart connection as will be shown in this work. The earth itself is heated by the hearth of the heart, and it appears that it's going to be in for a little more fire when the Ares dragon makes its return visit again. The Ares dragon that is symbolically alluded to by the flaming sacred heart of Jesus that everyone is working so diligently to resuscitate. As was detailed in the ancient Sumerian texts, the age of Ares ended the age of Taurus 216 years early to usher in a time of despair and eventual destruction. This forms the basis of the Freemasonic allegory of Chai Ram Abif, who is killed by the three ruffians, which are the three rough ages of Taurus, Ares, and Pisces. The last age of Pisces is embellished by the Savior Jesus, sending us a message because this is the last age where everything is made into a mess, thus the mess age. Have you received the message in this mess age? Take a look around at the world and see the mess that humanity has created, which is getting worse by the day, therefore necessitating a cleanse from the red dragon. The age of Taurus tells us the reason for certain symbols and their meanings with the prefix of Tau coming from the Hebrew word for Tau, which is written in English lettering as T and V, and literally means cross, while the Turkish Rus means red and Russian. Indirectly, the Latin Rus translates into English as country, field, estate, farm. In Russia, there is the red square for this reason, and the flag of this country and many others is also red. When combined with the Tau for cross, we are pointed to the symbol of the red cross, which is the symbol of the Knights Templar, or Knights Hospitalier, that has further integrated itself into the health and rescue organization that is called the Red Cross. This is a Freemasonic organization that has adopted two additional symbols, the first being the red crescent for countries with primarily Muslim populations, which is a tilted symbol for the planet Saturn, and the second symbol is the red crystal, which is simply a tilted square and is thus another symbol of Saturn. This is not surprising since the astrological correspondent to the Tau is the planet Saturn.
The Freemasonic calendar has a system of timekeeping known as Anno Lucisa, which means in Latin, Year of Light, that adds 4,000 years to the current Anno Domini calendar system. Anno Domini can mean two things. The first being Year of Ownership, Master, Lord, or Year of the Banquet, Feast, with the Latin Domini meaning banquet, feast, ownership, rule. The Latin Lucisa is related directly to the Latin Lucifer, which means light bringer, and the Freemasons are heralding the fact that the year of light as related to Saturn happened sometime in the age of Taurus over 6,000 years ago. This is unfortunately the deception, since it was a light that was taken away from us, not given. This is related to us with the inordinate amount of one-eye symbolism that is displayed to the public in movies, media, and entertainment by actors, musicians, politicians, models, and anyone else who is caught in the worship of the beings who have taken over humanity and now use us as their energy source. The one-eye symbolism is telling everyone that one of the eyes or suns in our binary system was taken from us. There had been two suns in our sky in the past, and then one was taken away, killed, blotted out. It is abnormal for us to live with only one sun in our system, yet this is what everyone has become accustomed to and try telling anyone that there should be two suns in the sky and they'll call you mad. Chai Ram Abif from the Freemasonic allegory was the second sun that was taken out and killed in the age of Taurus. It is the black hole sun that received a black eye since a Biff in boxing is a blow that is given with a fist, and the Latin fistuca means rammer, mallet, stalk, beetle, as related to the Freemasonic mallet and the fists used in boxing. Fistuca is also a Latin synonym of the Latin word matrixa, translated as stem, since this correlates with the stem known as our spine. It was the blow of the mallet that biffed and blew out the second eye or sun in our sky by making it black. It is now the black box of Saturn, which is why the black eye biff given in the rings of Saturn is also something that is done in the sport called boxing. That's why if someone punches you in the eye, you get a black eye. The Latin abi from abif is an interjection that translates into English as away, be gone, go off, die. The Lithuanian language displays the aspect of two sons with its same word abi meaning both, either, while the chai in chai ram is the Taoist chi or chi spelled differently, which is known as the life force. The Tau of Taurus, Taurus, is the Tau of the Chi. Tau is Tau. And the loss of the second sun has meant that we no longer have our true balancing life force at work with us. It was taken away, killed, and now it needs to be resurrected. This is shown in many symbols, including the yin-yang black-white duality that controls the polarities of this battery cycle that has been forced upon us. 
Another symbol is the black and white checkerboard pattern of Freemasonry. Black for the dead sun slash sun, Saturn, and white for the living sun that everyone is familiar with in the sky. It may appear yellow to our eyes, but it truly is white hot. As related to the Freemasonic allegory of Chai Ram Abif, the age of Taurus was ended 216 years early with the demise of the second sun. And here is the story as it relates to its demise. One day, three fellows, Jubella, Jubello, and Jubellum, decided to make Chai Ram tell them the master's password. At noon, they awaited him at the main gates of the unfinished temple as he prayed within. At the south gate, he denied Jubella, who hit him on the throat with a ruler. At the west gate, Jubello hit him on the breast with a square. And finally, at the east gate, still refusing to speak, he was struck dead by Jubellum's mallet. The three characters of Jubella, Jubello, and Jubellum represent the last three ages of the Zodiac, Taurus, Aries, and Pisces. Jubella hits Chirum with a ruler, metaphorically representing the age of Taurus, which was ruled out 216 years early to be taken over by the age of Aries. Jubello hits Chirum on the breast with a square, which represents the breast point of the Age of Aries that will be squared off against the Age of Pisces. The squared breast is also denoting the heart, or sacred heart of the dragon, which is being called Jesus, but is known by many other names as well. The last strike given to Chirum is from Jubellum, and it is done with a mallet which is linked to the Latin word maleatus, for hammered, beaten, and also the Latin maleolus, translated into English as fire dart. The prefix of the word jube, named for the three ruffians, is derived from the French jubi, that means rude screen. A rude screen is the backdrop scene that is displayed in churches, typically showing the crucifixion of the typified Jesus character. The church is displaying the death of the second son allegorically symbolized in the crucified human personification. Here is a simple diagram that would show the sequence of the events as depicted in the story of Chai Ram Abif. The mallet is the destruction of the cycle of ages and is the capping of the pyramid of 1776 as shown on the United States $1 bill. The singularity of e pluribus unum, from many one. The pyramid depicted is the Egyptian pyramid of Giza and it is said that the perimeter of this structure is 1760 royal cubits but I would suspect that measured accurately and perhaps when it was initially completed that the measurement would have been exactly 1776 royal cubits. This is unfortunately not provable, but does not make my contention any less warranted given the fact that the root of the word pyramid is derived from the Latin pyra, meaning funeral pile, pyre and a funeral pyre is wood heaped up to burn a dead body. In many cultures, the body was sent down a body of water and a fiery arrow was shot at it to set the pile ablaze, which links us directly with the Latin maleolus, for fire dart, that was interrelated to the Latin word maleatus, meaning hammered.
This is the ultimate end game plan for this era of humanity. To destroy us through fire once the derivative ratio of this reality equals the ultimate paradox of one and zero or all and nothing. This is going to be done by the Savior Jesus who is eventually coming to destroy everyone including every believing Christian who thinks that they are going to be raptured into a heaven that doesn't exist. The sacred heart, hearth, of the dead son that will be doing all of this damage is quite literally being jolted back to life by all of us. And here is how this process is occurring in the words of the acronym CPR. CPR stands for Cardiopulmonary Resuscitation. Cardio is rooted in the Latin cordis, meaning heart, mind, soul, spirit, intellect, judgment. The prefix of cor is Latin for heart, and the suffix of dis is Latin for god, deity, ruler of the underworld, Jupiter. Dio from the English car dio is the Italian and Esperanto word for God and therefore from cardio we are given the heart of God. Pulmonary was situated into English from the Latin pulmo for lungs because it is about getting air back into the lungs to start the breathing cycle again. Here are some more links. The Estonian pulm from pulmonary translates into English as wedding and this relates to the coming destruction as told in the biblical book of Revelation. The recharging of the heart of Osiris, Jesus, etc. is done through our electrical zaps given through our monetary taxes, shown by the Latin word tax, which means zap. The Azerbaijani language also denotes this as related to the word pulmonary, seeing that the translated English letters of P-U-L in that language means money and cash. Where do the zaps occur? from the moon, which is the egg of the impregnated bride of Isis who made all of humanity into her golden phallus so that she could become pregnant by Osiris again. The Mon in Paul Mon Eri shows us that it is the moon which is charging up the dead sun lover of Isis by using all of our energy through the metonymy of Mon E charges that are done in commerce. Everyone is quite literally paying for their own demise. It is a demise by fire, as shown by the Maltese language with the word nar meaning fire, the palmenari electrical fire that is going to jumpstart the heart of God once again. The heart that is an apple is also related by the Turkish language with its word mara, translated into English as pomegranate apple. The suffix of neri in palmenari is an English adjective that means not one. If there isn't a one, then there is zero, because the egg of the moon of Isis is the round zero that is looking for the phallic one to consummate the marriage, and this will occur when Osiris slash Jesus has been res erected. The last letter of CPR stands for resuscitation, and the first syllable, re, 
stands for Re or Ray, the Hawk God, also known as Saturn, that is sending all of the Re charges, Ray charges, to resuscitate the dead son of Osiris, Jesus, based on all of the commerce charges that have been building up on the stock market from all of the activities going on in the human marketplace. Re, Ray, is giving the electric paddles to Jesus Osiris to kickstart his heart and resuscitate him because it is Jesus that is being given a resuscitation and the English suffix of citation in resuscitation is by definition a summons, a summons from the court of the world to precipitate the rise of the heart of God who will be provoked by his evil love for the moon of Isis. The Spanish word cita agrees with this whole ceremony since it translates as appointment, date, engagement. The matrimonial engagement of resuscitation that is being initiated by the pull of the moon egg of Isis, hence pulmonary or pulmonary. Humanity is cheering this effort forward to bring back the 13th warrior destroyer sun slash sun as even the sports cheerleaders indicate with their chants of rah rah rah. There is a large wake up meme that has spread to countless numbers of people, especially in the area of alternative research. This is a ruse, because as everyone is shouting wake up at each other, they are actually shouting it at Osiris Jesus, because a wake is a funeral. The funeral of Osiris that is being attended to by Ra, Ray who is bringing forth the ray charges from everyone here on earth who is shouting wake up with all of our metonymy money charges in commerce that are eliciting a response from the dead sun slash sun. It is a response from the gift of our free will as the Latin spons says with a translation of free will. But since this has to do with the missing phallus of Osiris that Isis needs to attach to him to become impregnated, it is more in line with the title of the movie Free Willy. The whole wake up program is meant to delude people into believing that they are awake, which is technically accurate seeing that the body ship leaves behind a wake in the ripples of this time wave matrix reality. To wake up then would be to increase the size of the wake and this is precisely what is going on since there are more wakes people in the world than ever before which means that we are truly waking up. Not only that we are creating more waves along with higher and more destructive wakes by consuming more and destroying more on this earth construct. So to wake up is quite literally to wake up and bring more waves of electrical battery energy to the dead sun. I am going to say it again and again because this is extremely important. Resistance is assistance. In the battery energy cycle, resistance is crucial when making the sine wave energy pattern. The more happiness, the more sadness is required. The more rich, the more poor. And on and on with every duality example that could possibly be given. Without resistance, there could not be duality, and therefore the battery energy cycle would cease to function. Everything is going to continue increasing in the duality as the years progress onward. Truly, it will be the best of times and the worst of times at once. While many suffer and go through hell, many others will be partying, laughing, and thinking that everything is awesome, and they are blessed. Resistance is assistance. Resistance is assistance.
In regards to this program, it is all about our energy being converted to resuscitate the dead sun, and the more money slash electric currency that flows in and through the system, the stronger the defibrillation bursts become. This also makes the world louder, and when people are saying, wake up, they are shouting. More population and more money equates to a louder shout at Osiris Jesus to wake up. And now the Federal Reserve has put in Janet Yellen to increase the volume of the electric monetary currency, currency that is flowing to the dead sun, and she most certainly is Yellen. On the stock market, this is literally known as the volume indicator, and in global currency trading, the volume indicates the number of trades that occur in a day or a session. The stock market is the indicator of the heartbeat of Jesus slash Osiris, and it has been irregular for the last 100 years with a few really big jumps and some major falls. But it is starting to become more regulated with a quickened pace of upsurges in the economy followed by recessions. Don't worry though, because once the RFID chip comes out in full swing with a cashless all digital currency society, the amount of electric currency currency that the Federal Reserve puts into the stock market will be unlimited. An unlimited flow of electric currency to fully resuscitate the dead sun that will bring ultimate disaster upon the world once again, seeing that disaster is from the Latin dis for God, deity of the underworld, and the Latin aster means star. Therefore, disaster literally means God star from the underworld. Aster shares another link from the Jesus story. During the crucifixion, the Roman soldiers are said to have pierced the side of the ribs of Jesus with a spear, and this is correlated in the Latin term asta, meaning spear, javelin, a disasta from the Father, Son, and Holy Fire Dart spear it. Ra Amen. The elite and controllers of the world highly recommend that everyone laugh about all of this and brush it off as some wild conspiratorial fantasy. In fact, they are banking on the fact that everyone is going to do just that while using the charges that everyone has stored in their electric banks and AC counts, alternating current counts, to keep the charge to the ultimate reset point rolling forward. Oh and keep shouting wake up at one another. The elite love it when everyone does that, because it serves them well in this ultimate endpoint of the DVD timeline agenda. There has also been a barrage of indications in regards to this reset point from the media and political elite in the last while by using the word reset. Reset the economy, reset the net, reset the dollar, reset the ecosystem, the list goes on. To put an end to their agenda of ultimate reset would take nothing less than a complete halt to the daily grind of commerce involving the entire monetary and banking system. Does that really sound like it's going to happen? Otherwise this agenda is trucking forward without delay. And if those in the alternative research community think that we are slowing their agenda down, you have only been fooling yourselves. Why? Because again in a rhyme, resistance is assistance. 
The battery cycle charge needs both positive and negative, and the controllers of this Plan ET planet need a healthy opposition to everything that they do. Otherwise, the cycle of charges does not complete itself, and the circle must always complete itself. We've been fighting a long time, and we have all lost so very much, so many loved ones gone. But you are not alone. There are pockets of resistance all around the planet. We are at the brink. They pack a lot of firepower, but the T-600s are heavy and slow. They are a primitive design. Who is that? If you can't outrun them, then you have one option. Their motor cortex is partially exposed at the back of their neck. A knife to this area will disorient their tracking device, but not for long. Above all, stay alive. You have no idea how important you are. This is John Connor. If you're listening to this, you are the resistance. The ending is also paradoxically the beginning in this reset point, as shown by the 22nd and last letter of the Hebrew alphabet being Tov, from Taurus, and correspondingly, the 22nd letter of the Greek alphabet is He, from Chiram. This is the Catch-22 of humanity, because a Catch-22 is a paradoxical situation from which an individual cannot escape because of contradictory rules. That's our ultimate paradox, one trying to equal out to zero, which can never be done because we are caught in a cycle that is attempting to par an uneven amount. Just like the motion picture company Par Amount Pictures is telling us with its logo of 22 stars. Two plus two from 22 in numerology is four, which is the square. And this is the circle of life being squared by Saturn, because we are all boxed in by time and destiny. And once our timer has gone off, we remit our payment, since remit is timer spelled backwards. We remit our payment at the bow crossing, boxing, bow crossing, which is the house of time, as shown by the Swedish bow, meaning dwell, reside, nest, lair and Norwegian, bo, translated as estate, room, dwell. The nest and lair of the hawk god named Ra that we are in hawk to. What a raw deal. Continuing with the number 22, when we divide this number by the sacred planetary number 7, we get 3.142857 and continuing on, which is the Diophantine approximation for the equation of pi. In tarot, there are 22 trump cards, and the fool card is often the last major arcana in these decks, but it can also be represented as a zero for the first as well as the 21st card. This correlates with the biblical book of Revelation, which ends on verse 2221, while the next verse would have been 2222, showing the paradoxical duality of beginning and ending at once. The last word in verse 2221 is Amen, which is the ancient Egyptian word for hidden, and is the literal reason for all hidden knowledge being occult to the general public. The word occult is derived from the Latin occulte for secret and occultus meaning hidden, secret. Not so well known though is the connected Latin word occumbo that translates into English as meet with death, to meet one's death, whereby the last five letters of cumbo are again interconnected to the Latin cumba meaning skiff, small boat, 
especially that in which Sharon ferried the dead across the Styx. This would be the link to the ferryman or boatman of the dead and is also the actual basis for the supposed spiritual song from the 1920s, Kumbaya. The occult is all about meeting death, which is the hidden one, because death cannot be seen until one has died. When people say Amen at the end of their prayers, they are literally acknowledging the hidden aspect of death. Death is our individual reset point, as compared with the overall reset point of this entire construct. And just like any game, when you hit reset, you start back at the beginning to play the same game all over again. This conjoins the number 22 with the number of paths 22 that exist in the Sephirot or Kabbalah Tree of Life. Many people have experienced what is known as the 1111 phenomenon, which is also correlative of the paradoxical beginning ending point of this matrix reality construct. 11 plus 11 equals 22. In truth, the reason that the controllers and archontexts of this false reality need to continually readjust this reality with an ultimate reset point is because we are not meant to be prisoners. They are trying to reconcile the great contradiction of freedom and slavery. One can never equal zero, and slavery can never equal freedom, no matter which way it is spun. This is another hidden meaning behind the black and white checkerboard pattern of Freemasonry. They are the complete opposite dualities of good and evil in the paradox of this construct, and another occult meaning of the symbol is that the pattern represents the binary code of this matrix. One is white and on, and zero is black and off. A matrix is furthermore a mold from which a relief surface is made. This gives another revealing collocation, the fact that relief is acquired for those who have been given surface from the Phoenicians' Archon controllers. For those who are now drowning in the sea of the dead and crying, Boat us! Boat us! They are provided relief once they are given surface as the Latin word boatus tells everyone with the meaning of shouting, bellowing, roaring, loud crying. That's another sick and hidden meaning behind the wailing wall in Jerusalem, with the wall symbolizing the walls of the moon, which is the craft that picks up those who are shouting, bellowing, roaring, and crying for a David to bring a boat and save them. The affidavit cry for help from the savior star of David, David. In commerce, this is cognate with the term service because service is surface. And when someone receives a service, they get a feeling of relief. In terms of the dead spirits drowning in the sea of the dead, they are provided with the service of a moon craft to be given surface and liberty, which is a short shore leave. This provides great relief, shown by the anagram of relief, which is re-life. And after life, there is evil, or the mirror opposites of live and evil. They provide relief, re-life, 
with the craft known as the moon because they are the controllers of this reality and they are fishing for spirits by trolling the depths debts in the sea of the dead dead this is why freemasonry is called the craft many corporate symbols also show this aspect of fishing for spirits by using the moon Another anagrammatical word found in dream is mare. Mix up the last four letters of ream in dream, and this is how the word mare is found. And this supplies the basis for the horrendous dreams known as night mares, because the moon is the Trojan horse that was given as a gift to humanity to be taken over by an extraterrestrial race. This was done through a deceptive contract known as marriage, marriage, which is practiced unwittingly by the general populace. The entire poem known as the Iliad, written by Homer, is nothing more than an allegory about the regeneration and rebirth cycle of humanity through the Trojan horse, horse, moon construct. The ETs could not defeat humanity, so they created a gift which supplanted a hormonal, hormonal construct inside the genetic disposition of humanity to manifest their version of the universe onto us, while trapping everyone inside a cyclical rebirth process to be used as food, electrical energy. We are now manifesting this reality as shown by the Norse mythology moon god known as Munni, while the Old Norse Icelandic Monni also means moon. This is because the moon creates luna ticks, clock ticks while we talk, tick tock talk, and many acts, moon alternating currents. The ACs in many acts is the alternating current of electrical energy that we are creating for the ETs inside the moon construct, and the phonetic ticks in Luna ticks are the ticks on our lifetime clock that is paradoxically counting down our time while counting up the ticks of metered electrical energy that we produce. This is shown in the Latin word manicula, meaning little hand, denoting the little hand of the moon clock as compared to the big hand of the Saturn timepiece. The moon is the little Trojan horse, as displayed by the Latin manni, translated into English as pony, because the moon pony is the small horse or little hand of the Saturn moon matrix clock construct of timekeeping. Our energy is sucked out of us as we age through time, and this was the key that the ETs needed to make their matrix energy contract work. As we believe that we are aging, we decay, and the word K from decay quite literally means key, while the Dutch and Norwegian de or D translate as the. Therefore, decay is the key the Freemasonic key to suck out our energy through the paradox of time that has us divided from our true nature, thinking that we are separate from the very place that we are part of. This belief in division manifests 
the mental illusions that coerce humanity into hating each other and participating in systems of hatred such as war and commerce. Because commerce is also war. War against nature and war against humanity. There can be no love in competition and money only divides everyone in this system even more. It will never cure the ails that hurt so many because it is not meant to. Commerce and the monetary, moon-eat-terry hate system is designed to create racism, jealousy, anger, fear, worry, anxiety, starvation, and every other horror that exists on this plan ET. What does war manifest? Money. What does money manifest? War. A snake biting its own tail, and nothing being changed to stop this sick cycle from continuing. This is humanity's one world religion, as shown by the number one definition of the word credit. What is that definition? Believe. It is not an accident that the word prayer has the word payer in it, because we are all paying for the dead debt of sin, which is the moon, to the ETs of this DK time matrix hologram construct. Do any of the animals look like they need to use money to provide for themselves? No, only mankind is set up to believe in such a delusory system because the moon has filled him and her with the emotions of hate and fear. And once everyone goes through the matrix constructs of paradise, paradise and thrown overboard as the lost seamen again to wait for the moon of Satan, Satan to come and rescue them, it is back to the same earth construct for another spin on the E.T. Wheel of Fortune. Why? The Hebrew word for constellation is shown here, with the first part Galgal meaning wheel, and the second portion Hamazlot meaning fortune, luck, chance. Our life is nothing more than a spin on the wheel of fortune of the ET matrix zodiac, which correlates with the Latin neo for spin, weave. While our energy is being taken from our spines, we are being spun on the zodiac wheel of fortune, where life is all a game of chance. We die to reach the heavenly paradise, to toss the die once again that will tell us when we die in our next game of life. That's our roll as we roll another toss after we fall from paradise. It's the order of things, as the Hebrew Seder alludes to with a meaning of order, the new world order of the zodiac, and is shown in the Hebrew term Seder Hamazlat, or constellations, order of constellations. This is related to the Hebrew term Shidra, for spinal column, backbone, and is etymologically connected to the word Shizra for backbone that is derived from the Hebrew root word as shown meaning to interweave, intertwine, twist. The Latin neo that is spun, weaved on the zodiac wheel of fortune while energy is being sapped from the spinal column to interweave, intertwine and twist our lives out of shape and in conformity with a demonic agenda to use everyone as energy food slaves. Not only that, if we take the two middle letters from the Hebrew Shizra, it would become Zer, which means bouquet. Yet with one additional accent, we have the related word Zar that translates as alien, foreigner. This connects yet again to the etymology of the word garden that I showed in the previous work with the Avistan and Old Persian Zar meaning to harm and Ahzara for oppressed. This is their garden, where they mean to harm and oppress every one of us inside of it to squeeze us mercilessly for every drop of energy that we have. They are the host that is hostile towards us, and the alien force that is treating us horrendously. Even the term host shows this, being derived from the Latin hostis for army, warlike expedition, and the late Latin hostis for enemy foreigner, stranger, and Latin 
Ostia, meaning sacrifice, animal sacrificed. We are sacrificed animals that are taken by the ET false gods who hold us hostage throughout the ages in their alien Garden of Eden. The spine is the antenna that receives the electric signals so that we believe this matrix reality to be legitimate. This is also shown in the Hebrew language where seder also means message, dispatch, spine. We receive the messages of the matrix through the antenna known as the spine, which also dispatches messages back to the mainframe computer to relay the necessary signals that formulate the code that our brain will then decode in this reality. The spine antenna is our receiver transmitter that sends the electrical signals up to our brain so that the brain can process the code and enable the senses to respond to the input of electrical stimuli that is being sent from the mainframe matrix computer of Saturn. This is shown by the Hebrew word mishosha that translates into English as antenna, aerial, feeler. The spine is the antenna that sends the electrical binary signals that act as our feeler for the five senses in this false reality. As connected with the mainframe computer of Saturn, the Star of David portrays a hexagonal symbol on its North Pole and is further displayed on the flag of Israel, along with many ancient cultures also using the same symbol of Saturn worship. The Hebrew term for hexagonal is Mishoshe, which is very closely related to the Hebrew Mishosha, and this is furthermore shown by the following word splits. By taking the four letters as shown from the Hebrew Mishoshe, we get the pronunciation of Mishushe that translates into English as palpation, touch, feeling, showing again that the spine is linked to our senses in this digital decoding matrix hologram construct. By going back to the Hebrew Mishoshe and taking out the one letter Shin, we are left with Mashve, that means equalizer because the spine is the equalizer between the opposite polarities in our biological positive and negative battery cycle that creates energy for the mainframe computer of Saturn. This forms our reality as shown by word splitting the Hebrew word as shown down to mishosh that means reality, palpability. The spine is the great equalizer and neutral mainframe in the human biology that takes the signals being given to it while producing ionic polarized energy and is in actuality the mark of the beast, or arc of the beast, because it forms the hull of the body ship that acts as our arc, M arc, to float us through this electrical reality construct. The mark of the beast has always been said to be represented by the number 666, and this would be correct since we can split down the two remaining Hebrew letters of Shin to give us Shesha from the original word hexagonal, meaning six and hexa. When the triad of sixes are multiplied together, we receive the number 216, which is the neutral number in the pentagram circle of charges. 216 is neutral, 
the pentagramic fifth element that sees all points in the energy circle that is also the great zodiac here. It is the all-seeing love, evil eye known as Horus, Eagle, Egyptian Red Sun, Prince of Peace that acts as the neutralizer between the polar opposites in this reality until the end of the 360 degrees of precession have completed themselves where the phoenix will rise and devour everything into its bill and assimilate all the wisdom that has been acquired throughout the 25,920 year period. In terms of equaling out the opposites, the Baphomet that is 216 reverses the charges so that the flow of the electric current cycle can constantly continue. This is seen by first taking the sacred number of the circle, 72, and adding it to itself four more times to achieve the other four constituent number points in the pentagramic five-pointed star of Baphomet where we acquire the numbers 72, 144, 216, 288, and 360. Automatically, we see that 216 sits between the other four numbers, acting as the intermediary between the positives known as 288 and 360 and the negatives known as 72 and 144. In the math as related to the four main cardinal directions of the compass, we could mathematically deduce this by taking 288 positive north, subtracting it by 216 neutral to equal 72 south. The same is true in reverse, where 72 negative south meets neutral 216, has its charge reversed, and 72 plus 216 equals 288. 216 always reverses the charges so that the power of the equations can be met and returned by their opposite counterparts. The math is the same for east to west and west to east. Here is a diagram to display this reversal and continuity of cyclical charges. Two sixteen Baphomet Kronos is not affected by the thirty two degrees of the compass rose since it is the neutral gatekeeper of all four directions and sits underneath it all. Thus, it is able to see all and know all. This is why Osiris is considered to be the god of the underworld who is dead because neutrality is the dead charge. This is also the basis for the cross of Jesus Christ, who is known as the Prince of Peace. And for the same reason, because neutrality brings peace between the opposite charge polarities. The depiction provided displays the body that is nailed to the cross of the zodiac, symbolizing the fact that it is a fixed aspect, immovable realty reality. Baphomet, according to Gnostic texts, literally means absorption into wisdom because we are living inside a living computer hologram construct that is eating our consciousness to gain ever increasing amounts of wisdom and knowledge, exactly like the sadistic technologists want to do in their quest to become God. We are going to become gods, period. If you don't like it, get off. You don't have to contribute. You don't have to participate. But if you're going to interfere with me becoming God, then you're going to have big trouble. Then we'll have warfare. The only way you can prevent me in this, in this 50 or is to kill me. If you kill me, I'll kill you. Baphomet, as the all-seeing absorber of wisdom and knowledge, is the symbol for the matrix computer construct of Saturn, 
where our consciousness is put on ice by Kronos, Saturn, who eats all of his chilled wren, because we are the children, chilled wren, who have our consciousness frozen in the dead urn of sat urn. The suffix of wren from chilled wren is the Latin word for kidneys, name of a precious stone. The kidneys are the beans of our magical biology as connected with our jack-in-the-beanstalk spine that filters the impurities of our created energy before being brought out for use by the ETs. This is also shown in the Swedish word zren that translates as clean, clear, pure. The third bean is our pineal gland and is alluded to in the slang term bean which means head and when someone spills the beans when telling a secret, or is full of beans when not telling the truth. The prefix of kid from kidney is also by definition a goat, because it is the goat god of Baphomet that we are contending with. Saturn's position of dominance is in the constellation of Capricorn, it being Saturn's sign, which is also the sign of the goat. The god known as Pan is also depicted as being a goat god, because this matrix is Pan's lab -arenth. Saturn is the mainframe computer that is putting the hex on humanity, and a hex is an evil spell. This is the reason that this spell is in all of the languages, because they are spelling the spell out for us. A spell that is written in cursive, as their wand of words is word around and around us, because a word is word to complete the sentence of this grimoire spell that is done by using grammar, because the word grammar came from the French grimoire, which was altered from the term grammaire. When we are learning grammar, we are also learning about the grimoire of our lives. It is also the curse of writing of the snake that is writhing these grimoire hexes upon us, because that's what curse of writing is, the writhing of the jail pen that we are inside of while playing out this psychophantic storyline. Writhing is by definition a snake-like twisting motion that works its way down the page, because a page is by definition a slave. We are the storyline page slaves who are forced to follow the sick tales that are spun and woven for us from the sadistic mainframe computer hive mind of the Saturn Matrix. This story is recorded on our spines because just like the spine of a book, it holds together our story that has a certain amount of signatures in it. The folds of paper in a book are called signatures and each one of us has certain signatures in our coded character personality that is energetically shown when providing a signature for a contract. If someone cannot provide a written writhing signature, an X put on paper works fine for the system, since X represents Saturn and our enslavement inside of it. That's the nature of our character, because a character is a written symbol of speech in this story, and is also an imaginary person that is represented in a fictional story. 
That's all of us. The imagination of ourselves or our cells. Because we are locked in this prison system fictional matrix grimoire with a very limited jurisdiction that controls our life terms. Our signatures indicate that we agree with the story and its diction. Each signature is made up of a certain amount of pages, slaves, that get turned. And once they are turned, there is no turning back, because this story only flows in one direction. Each chapter is an ending, the death of many pages and signatures, otherwise known to you as the people in this reality. A chapter is the Latin caputa, which is where the writer will cap it, and is why this life is also a death sentence. We all must die and be given a capot all name, or cap it all capital name. This is your stage name, because all the world is a stage, which is anagrammatically the gates of death. Stage is also gates, because these gates swing open and closed for the random entrances and random exits of all the characters, care actors, in this life. Does that not correlate with your own experience? A random entrance called birth, to be followed by a random and unknown exit called death? Throughout life, we become fond of certain characters, because the characters are also the fonts, which is why we are fond, fond of certain characters and not others. Many families are developed, and a paragraph is by definition a family of characters, as shown also by the suffix word graph, that means a visual representation of the relations between certain quantities. That's what a family is a visual representation of the relations of a certain quantity of family members. A specific number of family members within their quartered paragraph space that contain a number of different characters who are trying to get along and be fond of each other, while also attempting to find their place within the dynamic of the storyline structure. The paragraph that exists on a certain page or pages within the book of life with a family that is graphed on par with each other, hence par a graph. A page is a servant and slave, and the etymological roots of the word family correlate with this, since it is derived from the Latin familus, meaning slave, servant, house of slaves. Sometimes family members have to move forward in this life story without each other since a widow is definitionally the last line of a paragraph that is printed alone at the top of a page. An orphan deals with this misfortune as well, seeing that it is the first line of a paragraph that is printed alone at the bottom of a page. If you do not like this book, 
The other characters who accept this Matrix story will call you weird and crazy, which is also why the jurisdiction of the court is going to book you. Book you a date into a building that is a certain number of stories tall. Because this is a tall tale with the same sentence that is going to be repeated over and over again. A sentence handed over by the judge that heard the case from the characters because every character is either written in uppercase or lowercase. That's why there are lower courts and higher courts who understand the different levels of case law. Before someone is booked into the jail pen, they are read their rights because a book is read from left to right by the one who writes it. These rights, rights, are the right right to remain silent because the story writer is going to write you in as being silent because to the gods, silence is golden. It is golden because we are giving them our golden energy, as shown by the breakdown of the word silence, where C si is Spanish for yes, because a maxim of law is that silence implies consent, and the suffix of ens from silence is phonetically spelled out as ens, and ense is the Turkish word for back of the neck, back of the head, nape, and cross-translates into Latin as cervix. The suffix of ens is further rooted in the Latin ensisa, meaning sword, because our spine is the sword in the stone of the moon that cannot be removed while we are plugged into this matrix in the back of the neck, head, and remain silent. A maxim of law is silence implies consent. Silence is golden because we are silent while being mined, mined for gold that is sucked out of our spine, swords, by the alien gods. Those are your actual rights, rights and freedoms, because freedom is actually the Freya Dome, which is Friday or Freya Day, otherwise known as Venus. The pseudo-freedom in the Freya Dome of the birth canal where we constantly think we're going to be free. The suffix of ens from sil ens and the first two letters of sai are even further cognate with the Latin encicula, meaning opener, letter opener. Seeing that our story is written on our spine, which is the sword that is opened at the back of the neck, the sword that is the letter opener, because the anagram for sword is words. Take the letter S in sword and put it at the end and now you have words. Words are the sword that we use to cut each other with because they hold the most powerful form of influence, influenza, in this conquer and divide construct that humanity calls reality. The spine itself is the letter opener. Words form the letters that we write to each other with our living voice and the etymology of the word letter goes back to the Greek diphthera, meaning parchment. This has given the medical community the term for diphtheria, which is an upper respiratory tract illness that is characterized by a sore throat and other possible effects. As related to the Greek term, this is why when a person has a dry and sore throat, they are said to be parched. The sword of words cuts the throat as read from the parchment paper of the mind, resulting in a parched throat. The words that chronicle our life story as told to and from Kronos. After you give your consent to being silent in this matrix, you are asked, 
Do you understand, under Satan, these rights, rights? Since the sentence of judgment is going to be repeated over and over again until you get it. Until you get what? That this is not your story. You are just a character with a first and last name that needs to follow the general storyline until you make your grand exit. Why a first name? Since the Latin furs means thief, robber bee, the devil, showing who is writing this yarn while indicating that we are stolen property slaves, slaves to the hawk god named Ray of Saturn as shown by the Latin synonyms to furs, which is raptor. A raptor in English is a bird of prey, such as an eagle or hawk. The hawk, hawk of debt, owed to the robber bee, which is the twist of our fate. And that's what fate is, the small choices that we are allowed to make each day that do not interfere with the theme of the matrix, math -e -matics, mathematics, because life is a game, which is why it's a play with actors. This is why our movements are called acts, or actions, because we are involved in the play of life for a certain number of acts. Governments also write statues, statutes, and acts because they are actors who are putting up the false idol statues, statutes, that the human characters believe in, follow, and obey. Our speech is our dialogue until we reach a colon, and then the writer will dial a log, dial a log, because a dial is a bookmark and a timekeeper, and the log is the spine which holds the story together. The spine that is the log book that records electrical cords all the activities that occur within one's lifetime until your page number is up. That's when your number is called and the gods dial a log, a page that is taken away from the dialogue in the story of life. In the meantime, you must play your part, and those who have repeating sentences that get it will potentially be pardoned or have a part on the world stage again. You are one of the cast members, but not the author, because only the author has the authority to change the draft of the script. And just like war with its compulsory conscription soldiers, this book is about struggle, strife, and death, which is why you have been drafted. Unfortunately, it is a final draft, so any protesters are simply going to be censored. We are only meant to copy our orders, and if we copyright, there are rewards. Wards, of course, are actually words, because this is the ward, word of God, and he's got us by the hook, a narrative trick used to keep us reading this story. We are so caught up in it that everyone has forgotten what happened to put us here in the first place. We are caught hook, line, and sinker. A sinker because this story sucks. It sucks our energy right out of us. And here's the kicker. We get to foot the bill. That's the punchline where we all get biffed and we are the butt of the joker.
Throughout life, you learn about your character through the lines of the other cast members, especially the family. The family with the father who cast his member into Freya's dome to fish you out and provide you with freedom. The child becomes a new cast member who learns about his and her character through others and uses this information to formulate one's own modality of improvisation because improvisation improves your named character that you want the gods to become fond, fond towards two words. In a drama production, the term gods is used to indicate the gallery because the gods are watching this whole charade play out. It is our dress rehearsal because a rehearsal is the practice of the play until the death of the character takes them away in a hearse. A rehearsal. This is the reason that many professions such as doctors and lawyers are called practices. Because this life and every other life lived under the control of the false gods has been a rehearsal and we keep dying to try and get it right. Why do people think that their doctor is called a general practitioner? In the general public, there are many stock characters, which is a different way of saying that people are being stereotyped, and is the reason that there is a stock market, and when interbreeding, people are raising their family stock. This life is a musical of sorts, an opera one might say, as we all operate, operate and T, the seventh note of the musical mode, throughout this world, world stage, to show the gods in the gallery that we are competent to compete against each other, which is why the word competent contains the word compete within it. They are the GOAT, GOAT gods of Saturn, seeing that the theatrical acronym GOAT stands for Goal, Obstacle, Tactics, Expectation. It is the goal of life to surpass the obstacles by using tactics to reach for the expectations of the gods before we become a corpse, which is the divine comedy of it all. And the stage term of corpse is to laugh when on stage as the actor and not the character would. Sometimes, during the whole process of life, a prompt is needed to tell an actor what their next line is because they have forgotten what to do and where to go. This is the lifeline that keeps the play actors moving forwards and not in reverse. These are the lines that become the text for our submission because the act of submission is surrendering one's power over to someone or something else. That is what has happened. Humanity has submitted its power over to the Saturnian control system to be replaced by the false metonymy matrix game of life. We are held in this prison by the stocks and bonds because a bond is strong durable paper made for printing documents and is also the electrical force that is linking atoms, atoms together while stock is the paper stock rated in pounds, such as card stock paper. Perhaps this is a little much for the listener, and they need a rest, because a rest is the space given between sentences, and in court matters, a person that was arrested is given a space to rest between their sentencing. A rest is quite literally a rest, but a rest will not be given, because the connections are not done. When arrested for a crime, the crime that didn't rhyme with the storyline, the criminal is put into a paddy wagon because a pad is a large number of sheets fastened together. This is why we sleep under sheets and blankets in bed 
because the pillow is the pill that is going to take us low, pill low, into the subconscious realm and put us to sleep while we fill the blank sheets with the story of our dreams. They are called dreams because reams are large quantities of written matter, where 20 reams equals 20 choirs. A choir is phonetically a choir, which is a chorus of people assembled to sing together in sleep for Saturn, as shown by the word Horus in chorus. We never reach the chorus because we are stuck in the universe. The single uni-verse of this fishy storyline that keeps putting us on repeat. Put on repeat, repeat, by the time god Kronos, who is the father of this matrix. This is why the Dutch word Piet literally means godfather. Horus is another name for Ray, the eagle-headed hawk that produced the hawk of debt time enslavement upon humanity as shown by the anagram of Horus that becomes ours. The hours that the time gods repeat our hours. A pad from Pad D Wagon is also a living quarters, representing the pixelated square symbolism of this Saturn matrix while pads are the fleshy cushions under our feet because we are the foot soldiers that are taking foot notes while on the field of battle in this life. We arrive on the field of battle when we have been summoned because a summons by definition is a footnote citation. We are summoned, some mooned, from the frozen dead re-ray charge of Saturn and brought back to life by the moon egg rebirth program. A note is also a musical note, because these notes are brief written records that produce vibratory tones. The anagram for notes is tones. When someone receives a summons, they are definitionally receiving a citation, which is a short note recognizing a source of information or the recognition of a quoted passage. Many books summons or cite their references, which is also known as commending. If the summons is ignored and their written work is not recognized, a judge in court may issue a warrant. What is a warrant? It is a war rant, exactly like the word states, because a rant is a loud, bombastic declamation expressed with strong emotion that includes pompous and pretentious writing. Nearly everything is written on paper, which is phonetically spoken as pay per, which would mean pay through or pay by means of. Per is the Dutch word for within, through, and the Hungarian term per for legal action, suit, cause, respectively. And the word cause is etymologically rooted in the Latin word causa, which also means case. The upper and lower case of the hearing that needs a cause to provide the case. That's the sauce that puts you in the boiler room, seeing that the anagram for cause is sauce, whereby the Latin word eusa translates into English as sauce, law, broth, justice, ordinance. The fraternal secret societies are called brotherhoods for this reason too, since they provide the broth, sauce, and juice to soup things up in this story. The Portuguese and Spanish word papar 
agrees with the details in the sauce with the translation of eat, consume food. The papar that is written on paper. And let's not leave out the Pope of the Vatican, who is also an important actor, and is connected to actions put on paper with the French word papa, meaning Pope. The papa of er as decreed and written on paper. All of this is kept very punctual in the timeline of the story as integrated into the term punctuation. The punctuation that must remain punctual while the general populace of slaves speak their common vernacular to each other since the Latin verna literally means slave born in a master's house and vernaculusa translates as the nouns buffoon and jester. This all happened because we accepted the long-distance call from the ETs, where we bit the apple appellation of sin known as the name, shown by the Dutch appel, for apple, appeal, roll call, call, and the French appel, meaning call, appeal, calling, plea, telephone call, summons. Do you accept the long-distance charges? The charges sent to and from the distant gods, as shown by the Latin dis, meaning God, underworld deity, and the phonetic tense from distense, because a tense is a grammatical category of verbs used to express distinctions of time. The time of Saturn, which is the gateway to the gods from another dimension, where we send our long distance tenses of time charges to them while we own our character skills to perfection. The word own is in phone, and if we own our skills well enough, the gods will give us honors, because the word honors is fixated as an anagram into the word chronos. Take out the letter C in chronos and rearrange the remaining letters to receive your honors. Just call me Al. Why me? You ask for help, and we're here. God. If God. You ask for help, and we're here. If there's God. This word phone is also showing humanity the direction that the gods are taking our battery cycle operated world in to an acidic pH level of 1. Phone equals pH 1 which is the biblical water of Gaul, and this is a big part of the chemtrail attack that is happening in the skies of this Plan ET every single day. The more PH1 calls that we send to the genetic X chronosome chromosome of Saturn by believing in say 10, where X is the Roman numeral for the number 10, the closer we get to arriving at the PH level of 1. This is all part of the final act in this god play of pretending that involves our pretending to ring the PH1 phone of Jove, because by Jove, we've got it. When the world reaches this PH level, the phoenix will rise again. The return of the king and lord of the rings, who will be croned, crowned by Crownus, Kronos, as shown by the anagram of Rise, which turns into Sire. The king that comes from below, as shown by the last letters of Ned, from Crowned, which is the Norwegian word for below, down. This pH of one is the ultimate meaning behind the occult Latin term, E pluribus unum, from many, one. 
We work for the crow, spelled crow nos, since work spelled backwards is crow, and the word nas is Latin for we, us. We work and are wedded to the time ring of Saturn, as also shown by the Hungarian term nush, meaning wedded. It is the eye of Ray that will be awakened to exhume the universal breath. What we do, the solar system does, the galaxy does, the universe does. When breathing, during the in-breath of the cycle, there is a buildup of carbon dioxide, which is why there has been an ever-escalating buildup of carbon dioxide happening in the Earth construct. The governmental and elite agents of this matrix world are obviously very aware of this cycle in its larger context, which has formulated the basis for the carbon dioxide created global warming slash climate change agenda that has everything to do with the buildup of the solar system in breath that also takes in more carbon dioxide. It is not hard to see if one can expand their mind to the fact that these processes such as breathing are not strictly relegated to what is known as life on earth. This is the kind of information that they definitely do not want you to know because it opens up gateways to the awareness of how major cycles operate within smaller cycles. This is why the phoenix will rise after 500 years because 500 is representing half of the cycle whereas 1,000 is the full breath as depicted in the biblical book of Revelation. At the end of each breath is a small pause, which is the little season that the phoenix is loosed to send the breath in the opposite direction while also cleansing through fire and the high pH levels of 9 and 11, all of the carbon dioxide waste that was built up and accumulated during the in-breath phase. The X in phone X and anagram of X and I are the Roman numerals for 9 and 11 because 9 and 11 also represent high levels of alkalinity. After this process completes itself, the Phoenix dragon will be locked up for another thousand years, full cycle, because the breath literally needs to go through the full rotation of the ages, again before reaching the bottom of the acidic in-breath. The outbreath small pause has a separate Phoenix to contend with because that portion of the cycle has to do with too much alkalinity. The other Phoenix would probably be called the Phenio, seeing that I is the Roman numeral for one and O is obviously zero, which represents the opposite spectrum of acidity to turn the breathing cycle back inwards. 
Again, this is all about battery polarity, which is why there are alkaline batteries and lead acid batteries. The controllers of this world are on an agenda to make everything more acidic to eventually reach the bottom of the in-breath, which is a pH of 1. They are doing this by creating more industry and toxic pollution such as the Fukushima disaster in Japan, the Gulf of Mexico oil spill, and the chemtrail spraying occurring daily in the sky. These are just a few examples among the countless number that are happening on a daily basis. Heavy traffic and the burning of fossil fuels is a mandated necessity in this metonymy structure to ensure that we can see and know that there is evidence for why everything is becoming more acidic. If we did not see the reasons for these changes taking place, would we believe in the reasons for why they are occurring? The occurring events that come from the Ocu rings of Saturn. There are massive fish and animal die-offs for this reason, because even in a matrix computer structure, life forms are accustomed to a certain pH level for their own survival, and this is rapidly changing due to the carbon dioxide and acidification buildup in the environment on both land and sea. It is becoming harder to grow food because the pH levels in the soil are becoming more acidic, and soon it will become impossible, which will lead to mass levels of starvation, creating anarchy and havoc around the world. This is the basis for the UN Agenda 21 and the inevitable Hunger Games society that is around the corner for humanity because this is a cycle that is not going to stop as certainly as you will not intentionally stop your next breath. Things are going to get really bad right up to the point of the earth reaching a pH of 1, which is when a pH 1 phone call is going to be made to the Phoenix to lay the breath to waste and hit the federal re-serve button to send the breath back in reverse. The anagram for serve is verse. This phone PH1 Phoenix call is being depicted by corporations, corpse orations to a world full of people who have no clue about any of this. A PH1 call from the Lord of the Phone Rings. Even individually, when the body reaches its pH level of 1, this is where after death we receive our personal wake-up call from Saturn after our long sleep of life. The Fien Ix is the Eye of Horus, as depicted by the Ix in Fien Ix, because I and X is the Roman numeral for 9, and the symbol for the Eye of Horus is a 9. The small letter G is typically written as a similar 9, and the Freemasonic G stands for the Left Sun, as shown by the Greek, Turkish, and Korean G, translating into English as Saul and Left. Many other languages also translate G into Saul, such as the French, Hebrew, Swedish, Spanish, Croatian, and Bosnian tongues. This Eye of Horus is the capstone that will be placed upon the Pyramid, Pyramid, since it is the neutral pH of 7. The all-seeing eye of the Freemasonic Illuminati is the return of the King, or the Prince of Peace, that will cap the breath, 
and an anagram for the word cap is pax, which is the Latin prefix term for peace related to the term pax. It is the phoenix red sun that will provide peace by cleansing the earth of all the acidic waste that is built up as shown by the Korean word sol that translates into English as sol, brush, pine, scrubber, g, archery target, and skin pustules. All of these translations make perfect sense when there is a heightened understanding of these matrix cycles that occur. The Sol sun, known as G, is going to give the pineal gland a scrubbing with a brush, which means a close flyby. What does that have to do with Sol the sun? The letter G is used to indicate Sol in many languages as was just shown, while another synonym for G in Turkish is Bin, translated as G and Thousand. The monetary expression of having a thousand G's is displayed here, yet what is also indicated is the left sun, phone X, phone 9, of the thousand years. The thousand is the full universal expression of the in-breath and out-breath of the Platonic year, whereupon the left sun, or the Latin term oculusa sinistro, meaning the left eye makes its appearance known to mankind again. This is most likely one of the main reasons why everything that is left is presented as evil and wrong, as shown by the old English word lift, meaning weak, worthless, and the Latin sinistre, meaning left, wrong, adverse, unfavorable. This is the red dragon of China and hidden eye of the occult, since occult comes from the Latin oculusa for eye, which is the raw amen of the hidden sun. As an expression of the end of the in-breath, which needs to be cleansed out, that is displayed in the Latin word red allo, meaning out-breath, exhale, expire, while the Latin term red means retro, rearward, backwards, in reverse, again, refresh. Once the breath is full, it needs to be exhaled to relieve the tension, and the Turkish word bin highlights this when associated with the events of 9-11 and the false metonymy terrorist known as Bin Laden. Laden is a term that simply means loaded, and therefore we have a loaded bin, or bin laden, that needs to be emptied. In our case, the loaded bin of the earth and her lung capacity, with the ever-increasing human population explosion and the increasing amounts of carbon dioxide and acidification. The full bin of the earth's lungs, as shown by the Turkish bin, meaning thousand, depicting the full breath allegorical thousand years from the biblical book of revelations that needs to be exhaled, haloed by the rainbow halo of the red star known as disaster. What we do, the earth does, the solar system does, the galaxy does, the universe does. Everything is breathing.
The archery target of the Korean word Sul is the bullseye or eye of Taurus, the left sun that was measured out from the age of Taurus to bring in the age of Aries 216 years early to come back and meet the age of Pisces head on and bring the solar system breath back outwards. Up until that point in time in the age of Taurus, mankind was used to seeing two suns in the sky, but one was taken out so that it could be sent down to create a magnetic pull in opposition to the direction that we are currently going in right now. This will turn the solar system breath around to be sent back outwards, which keeps the cycle moving. If man and woman are each a little universe as stated in theology, then it would not be hard to surmise that this cleansing process is going on continuously in the body, with each breath in being laid to waste by the red root chakra that spins the yellow Manipura solar plexus chakra back outwards in purification. Manipura is from the Italian mani and Latin manus for hand and Latin mani meaning mourn, as well as Latin pura meaning pure, clean, clear. The Latin purissa gives a meaning of pus, bitterness, gall, venom, as related back to the Korean translation of sol, meaning skin pustules. Indirectly, this implies that the solar chakra is the hand that is continuously being cleansed and purified of the venom, bitterness, and gall that gets built up during each in-breath. It is apparent that every breath is a cleansing of waste that becomes accumulated in the body, and humans are the little universe because the same process happens out there, albeit on a much larger scale. When returning to the Korean Seoul and its nouns, everything becomes a lot more clear. The left sun G turns the breath of the soul, soul around by hitting it like an archery target bullseye son of Taurus constellation, which also acts as a brush and scrubber for all of the pustules and waste that have been accumulated and consequently also clears the pineal gland as it sends the solar plexus into the opposite direction. Does not the universal matrix need cleansing just like the body? When the pH is 1, the priests of Jupiter, Dis Aster, give a pH 1 phone call to the phoenix by dialing 9 to send the bull's eye in the sky, which will hit the acidic pH of 1 like an archery target and send the breath back out in the opposite, opposite direction. When the pH is 1, they send in the round zero bull's eye sun from Taurus, which completes the paradox of 1 and 0 in the binary duality matrix code of paradoxical reset. This is the great work of Freemasonry, and right now this dream theater called Earth is becoming a full house, and in cards the suit that can beat a full house is the royal flush because in writing, writhing, it's all about receiving the royalty payments. The royalty payments given to the gods to resurrect the dead sun by using the metonymy energy that we all create by believing in the all capital letter dead fiction appellation that is engraved upon our subconscious. The subconscious that is going to royally flush us all out. It's the cycle in the story called life that is also a trap where we are forced to play our part as characters within it, because when you spell the word part backwards, it turns into trap. A trap that has turned us into biological batteries as depicted in the Sumerian Anunnaki story of the planet Nibiru needing more gold to sustain the atmosphere. The atmosphere that is lost after each breath because the human body is also losing more atmosphere after each cycle of breath. That's the allegorical depiction of what is also literally happening. And when we lose atmosphere, we age and then need to keep the cycle happening by pumping out more kin for sin, which is the moon pump kin.
Humanity pumps more kin to increase the atmosphere again by manifesting children who will create more golden honey plasma for the gods by sacrificing some of the family jewels. The Jew-Els are in actuality the electrical jewels, which is the true basis for the 3600 years of Nibiru. We are the water, wat -er, that create the electrical watts of power for the gods, and a watt-hour is a unit of work that is equal to the power of one watt operating for one hour, which is exactly 3600 joules. One watt hour that is 3,600 joules is your 3,600 years of the Nibiru orbit. We are the ones who sacrifice our jewels from the family jewels to pump more kin who will also be mined, mined for gold. Zechariah Sitchin was well aware of these facts as he was a 33rd degree Freemason. He translated the story correctly, but never told any of his readers what the story is actually portraying. The same story these false gods tell humanity over and over again. The greatest story ever told. The Anunnaki are the wat -er spirits as shown by the Finnish word Naki, that means the spirit of water. Anunnaki is phonetically a new Naki, or a new water spirit that is born into this world to create more electricity for the information construct of the sun through our golden blood plasma which is the food of the gods that gives them immortality. The Sumerian story tells of the gods sending more heroes who mine the earth for gold, which is in actuality mined for gold as I described in the previous work. More heroes are sent because this is about bringing in more human iPod egg slaves as the English word row tells us with the meaning of egg filled ovary, fish eggs. Rows and rows of heroes, which are the humans inside their iPod eggs, with our biological ship bodies that row, row through this electrical X is tense to produce more kin for sin. Another basic English definition of rose is doe, which is a female deer, whereas the male deer is called the buck. The buck who makes more bucks in the commercial economy of metonymy energy blood plasma creation. We are the does who does sleep our days, days away inside our eggs while making blood plasma for the Department of Energy, seeing that the abbreviation of doe is Department of Energy. We do this while the gods keep our record of employment, which is the abbreviation for Rho. Why else are we rose? Because the anagram and phonetic pronunciation for rose is rose, which is the symbol of the Freemasonic rose-croix and compass rose with its 32 directional degrees. 
32 directional zodiac degrees of egg, slave, iPod, human, water spirits who make the electrical energy for the Saturn snake time gods. Oh, and congratulations to all of the 33rd degree Freemasons who have been accepted by the ET gods and have made it out of the time matrix enslavement loop to help this ET computer construct suppress humanity on an even greater scale. You forget that these false controllers require our energy and not the other way around. Did you not learn that the user is the used? What is the secret elixir of immortality? Golden blood plasma. There it is, the secret to eternal life and the actual basis for all of the vampire folklore. It's not the blood that they are drinking, it's the golden blood plasma, which is also known as Ichor, or the rarefied fluid said to flow in the veins of the gods. Plasma is the main component of the sun, which is why it is necessary for sun creation and recreation, because life is a play and a game, which is also called recreation. Recreation equals recreation. For plasma to exist, ionization is necessary, which is the positive and negative binary cycle of this reality, or to know both good and evil. That's why we see the word ion within so many words, such as relation, abduction, solution, celebration, expression, tensation, invasion, and thousands upon thousands more examples. We are in Zion, making the gold in Oz, because the anagram of Zion is in Oz. It's in Oz because Oz is the abbreviated term used to measure weights of gold and silver in ounces. Oz equals ounces. Let's also link this directly back to us, being the heroes that make this plasma gold for the gods. Since the Hungarian word uz literally means roe, deer. The heroes that mine for gold, which is created through the ionization process that occurs because of the spine, as shown by the Hebrew word mushve, that means equalizer, which was shown to be connected through the word splits to this reality and our spinal column. 
The spine is the equalizer that creates the plasma because plasma is the electrically neutral medium of positive and negative particles since its charge is zero. The English word ounce came out of the Latin uncia and was also derived from the old French unsa, originally used for the Indo-European term lynx. Why lynx? The Latin word lienexa links us to the truth about the tree of life with its translation into English as fictitious tree invented to explain lincurium and ligure. This is the fictitious tree in the Bible which is our spine with its branches that we call ribs. The rib branch of DNA, plasma energy from the sun, that God took from Adam, Adam, and gave to the evening which is indicating the electron light of the moon. This is because the word lynx comes from the Greek lux, which was derived from the Indo-European root word luk, meaning light. The English language gets the word light from this Indo-European root via the Latin to also give the English words illuminate, luminous, and lunar, all indicating the light of the moon. Adam is the sun or son of man and Eve is the daughter moon who carries the light of the moon in her rows of moon eggs. Rows and rows of Anunnaki he rows to create the liquid plasma gold to sustain the atmosphere, atmosphere, the fear that feeds the false gods as shown by the Hungarian word atmos, meaning to leech. Atmosphere is the word that represents the ETs who need to leech off of us for their sustenance by keeping us in perpetual fear, while at the same time conditioning the mind that it needs to keep having sex to reproduce more produce for their garden. Atmosphere would quite literally mean to leech off of the sphere. We are quite literally creators of suns and moons. We produce the light through our X tension cord, X chromosome cord, in this X is tense to keep Luke Skywalker on the white side of the duality and fighting his hidden, secretive black father, Darth Vader, since the Dutch word Vader means father, father, son, and the Holy Spirit. Returning to the Latin lienixa, meaning fictitious tree invented to explain lincurium and ligure, one should understand what lincurium and ligure are. The Latin word liguriusa means precious gem and is related to the Latin ligu, translated as tie, bind, unite, and lignum, for tree, trunk, the cross, staff, gallows, stalks. Businesses keep staff on hire because corporations are alluding to the spinal column being worked. Lincurium is Latin for ligure, precious gem, amber. Amber is a synonym for gold due to its own golden color and the word amber is derived etymologically from the Greek elector, meaning shining sun, showing the link between the golden blood plasma created by the tree trunk staff of the spine during its ionization crossing and the fictitious tree invented to explain lincurium, which is amber. The Greek elector had a pronunciation change through the centuries to become elektron, which is why we now have electronics, 
it would be impossible to have electronics without the negative charge of the elementary particle known as the electron. The Latin language conjoins these aspects with its term electrum, meaning alloy of gold and silver, electron, amber. The alloy of gold and silver is the esoteric meaning for the sun, gold, and moon, silver, whereas an alloy is a metal combined from two or more elements. Alloy comes from the French alloyer, to assemble, join, and the Latin alligator, one who ties or binds to a support. This relates us back to the Latin word ligo, meaning tie, bind, unite, as connected to amber, and is the reason that an anagram for alloy is loyal. Someone who is loyal is steadfast in their allegiance or duty to something or someone, the ties that bind. As related to the spine of our storybook timeline, the Latin word ligator means bookbinder, which is another aspect of the unification of consciousness within this matrix storyline. And what have people been trained to say? See you later, alligator. The Latin ligator means bookbinder because we are booked for a certain time on this shore leave of liberty called life as we leaf, leave through the pages of our never ending story while kept enclosed by the book ends. And when conjoined with its close relative, the alligator will also crock a dial, crocodile, because a crock is a thick earthenware pot or jar, and a dial is a bookmark, but also the way to ring a phone number. The crock a dial that keeps humanity locked in their earthenware jars, only to dial our number when the time is up in the storyline, which marks a place on our spine. The alligator crocks the dial for each individual on their iPod egg timer clock, and the dial keeps ticking back to zero. That's why humanity has the common expression in death. Their number was up. The spine produces the amber, which is the golden honey plasma, created by having more children after the marriage, marriage honeymoon. It is the sap that is licked up by the gods, as shown by the relation of ligator in the Latin word ligurio, meaning lick, lick up. While we are trapped inside our honeymoon egg pods, as detailed by the Latin alligatus and alligati, meaning slaves who are fettered, binded, detained. Detained by the vampire gods who suck on our tree sap, which is their gar lick. This is also shown in another related Latin term, allium, meaning garlic, and gar is the German term for cooked, because our spinal fire cooks up the electric amber that makes the spinal tree sap. Garlic is gar lick. There is your secret recipe and elixir of immortality. When this honey, sap fountain of youth brew is eaten from a different living producer of it, the one who eats it will experience prolonged life, heightened energy, and broader conscious awareness, depending on the age of the one that produces it. Here is the concern of the gods towards humanity discovering this secret in the biblical book of Genesis. This is the 322, Genesis 322, of the Skull and Bone Secret Society, because we mined for gold in the bones of our skull. 
The tree of life is our spine, and the gods saw that if we ever became aware of the electrical energy being produced by it, that we could eat from it and live forever. Lest we put forth our hand to do so, something unspeakable had to be done. And this is shown by the dash at the end of this biblical phrase, which is called an aposiopasis and means a sudden silence. This indicates to the reader of this passage that the result of what was done to humanity was literally unspeakable. Regardless, this unspeakable thing was accomplished. And when the gods came down to confound our former single language of telepathy, they proceeded to create every language that humans now speak, which are all interrelated and connected to each other on such a profound intellectual level that it nearly seems impossible. This came about when the gods saw that humanity was building a portal to the gateway of God of Babylon, which is what the word Babylon actually means. This knowledge comes about when we look at the Hebrew word Migdalel, that means Tower of El, or Tower of God. In the New Testament story of Jesus, we find the character of Mary Magdalene, because she is the human personification that is locked in the Tower of El, which is representing the X female chromosome inside of the male phallic tower that is calling out for rescue to the female moon egg to free her and put it all back to get her together. To Helen back again. From Migdal El to Magdal En, the birth process is completed. And when we look at the portion of the Hebrew word Migdal by itself, we get a translation of tower, breeder, grower, fancier. The term fancy from fancier is synonymous with fantasy, illusion, because it is the illusionist that is perpetrating this whole schematic upon humanity. Let's continue splitting down the Hebrew Migdal even further. By only retaining the first three letters as shown, Megid, we get a meaning of choice fruit, precious thing. Another letter down, and there is the Hebrew characters as shown here, phonetically pronounced as Mog, which translates as magician, Majus. This is related to the Hebrew Rob Mog, that translates as chief soothsayer, chief of princes, an official of Babylonia. To this day, the term magistrate is derived from these earlier terms for majus and magician, because a magistrate is the public official that is designated to decide questions that are brought before the courts. The magistrate is the judge, the judge that is the priestly magician and the official of Babylonia, because we are the shore, horse, whores, slaves that swear before this criminal court system, since the word swore is in the word whores, and so are the words shore and horse. That's why the courts get the criminal to swear before the judge, because to swear is to curse, which is representing the curse, hex of Saturn. In terms of rebirth, it is all about finding our way to the moon again, through the Tower of Babylon, Babel On, which keeps the power cycle continuing for the sun named On, Saul Om On. Our sexual reproduction with the male phallus is quite literally the Tower of On, Bab El On, with On being another name for the dead sun. 
We are the slaves that bab bell on, since the Indonesian bab means chapter, indicating this story, while the Hungarian bab translates as beans, which are the beans of the kidneys and pineal gland that spill out to produce more currency through childbearing regeneration that makes another babe e. The children and humans that are used as puppet slaves in our earthenware egg pods, as shown by the Hungarian bab, meaning cocoon, marionette, tool, puppet, dummy. This gives you the reason for the monarch mind control slave program, which is literally about all of us. We are the marionettes that are being used as tools, puppets, dummies, while stuck inside our cocoons. This is the Gateway of God and Tower of Bab el on as depicted by the Swedish word Grind, that means gate. What does one say when returning to their slave labor? Let's get back to the grind, which would mean, let's get back to producing energy for the son of Bel named On. Bab, Bel, On. Bel is the baby lone ion, God of the Earth, who is also identified as the Sumerian Enlil. We bab el on by saying X or 10 with our genetic chromosome, chronosome, soma of chronos, to keep the dead sun on by grinding out more soul dyers to be thrown through the gates of hell, Helen, by way of sexual friction. Sol is Latin for the sun, Om is Hindi for the sun, and On is Egyptian for the sun. The sun, sun that will create another sun and sun through the moon or Tower of El by sending the troops, cavalry, seamen, etc. to go in and destroy the walls of it and capture the flag. Why a flag? because it is the stock that is needed to keep the battery cycle operating, and stock by definition is a stupid person, and is also the original from which others are derived in a family, yet furthermore the ownership element in a corporation, a corporation that is hiring their company of actors. All of that is the definition of stock, which is all accurate and not separate. Stock is something that is standard, and a standard is a figure that is adopted as an emblem of the people, which is a flag, the flag of X that is captured in the Tower of L. Flag is also a noun that is used to indicate any number of various irises, and the iris is the colored part around the pupil of the eye. The word iris is derived from the Latin word iris, meaning messenger of the gods, goddess of the rainbow, rainbow, and also iridescent stone, indicating the stone of the moon that projects the multicolored reality through the irises of humanity who create more kin in the pump kin of the moon, who are called their descendants, descendant, because to descend in something is to move in a downward direction. The rainbow agreement of God made to humanity after the flood is entirely about the moon, and this agreement is imprinted in the color of our eyes. We are the colored irises with rainbow-colored chakras who are getting schooled by an alien species who brought the moon as a Trojan horse gift. The colored irises who are pupils getting schooled because the pupil is the dark central opening of the iris of the eye, and a pupil is also known as a student in school.
Humanity are considered the selfish or selfish because we are the fished out spirits, spirits who are put into cells, put into cellular human biological prisons to make the energy food for the L electrical god L after the great flood happened, which was brought about by the tides of the moon. This is shown in the Turkish word cell, meaning flood, Indonesian cell for cell lockup, and French cell, meaning salt because the oceans of the world were turned salty at that point so that this earth and our biological bodies that we are in could be made into a giant electricity plant that we experience as an illusion through our rose-colored glasses or colored irises. Our energy is taken from us in this construct because to flag something is to also make it weaker and less spirited, which is shown in the term flagellate, to punish by whipping. There is the allegory of Jesus being whipped because it is not some savior being whipped, it is all of us being whipped into shape to flag our spirit and energy to make the liquid honey manna for those who control us and troll fish us out of their fish bear L to be put back in this prison. This is the goat of Baphomet who goads us into piercing holes in our ribs with our phallic spear to deliver more children. The word goad comes from the Middle English goad, which was derived from the Old English gade, meaning spear. The spear of destiny in the biblical allegory is a phallic metaphor that pierces the ribs of the body ship and tosses more semen, semen overboard and down the spinal fire that need to be rescued by the moon egg. The Freya Dome of Freedom. The spear from the goat who goads us into being a part of this divine comedy to be used as food, seeing that the word butcher is derived from the old French boucher, a derivative of the word bock, meaning male goat. This produced the English word buck, because when humanity makes children for the food of the gods, we are making more bucks and dough, dough, to produce more bread, bread. Right, dear? Dear? That's what the metaphorical phallic money shot term is symbolizing, which is why money is also called bucks. Dough, bread, bucks. We are the star bucks from the dough and row call of the moon that make the dough. And it's a divine comedy, comedy, because the gods are just ribbing us, which is a term used when someone is the subject of ridicule and laughter. And the Latin word comedy means meal, feast, feasting. The he-goat butcher Baphomet that slaughters us in laughter because the word laughter is in slaughter, slaughter. We are the atoms, atoms that have a rib taken out of us to produce another product for the moon of the evening. Spell the word rib backwards and we get bur, which is the Turkish word for one, the phallic one meeting the zero egg. Manna was the food of the gods given to the Jews during the Exodus, which was nothing more than the liquid honey plasma as has been detailed. And even biblical scholars do not deny that manna was known as being depicted as sweet and aromatic like honey, and also having a dirty yellow color. Manna is furthermore the hardened sugary exudation of various trees, but put into the proper context, this is the exudation of the human spinal tree because manna is the dessert of the gods, not the food given to the Jews in the desert.
There have been many names that our liquid honey plasma has gone under, including dew, soma, mana, ambrosia, ichor, mead, and obviously honey, which is the reason that couples in relationships call each other honey. The couple who is able to produce another feed us, feed us, that will provide more blood plasma honey for the vampires of the moon. The moon is the actual philosopher's stone and the apple offering of Eve, which ancient cultures also knew as the grail. This is the holy grail of biblical legend, because the grail was known as a stone from heaven that acted like a cup offering whatever anyone asked of it. That's the reason this reality is manifested before our eyes, as related to the Old Norse Icelandic monni, meaning moon. When people drink the blood of Jesus, they are ritualistically symbolizing the action of the entities who feed off of human blood plasma and drink it from the stone of heaven that everyone knows as the moon. The blood drinking ritual done in the churches is vampiric in nature. First take the holy, holy bread, bread, and then drink the blood. Does that seem right to you? It is a vampire ritual that comes from the gods who take us, the children of this matrix, and drink our blood, blood plasma. The Bible is nothing more than an allegory about sexual symbolism that portrays the rebirth ritual to turn us into electrical energy and eventually food. It is the Bib of El, hence Bib El. And to bib something is to drink moderately but regularly, and is the basis for our separation of rainbow iris colors in this DVD time loop matrix of Oz. A ration is a fixed portion of food, and we keep this cycle of forgiveness going by believing in the planet X of Saturn, also known as Satan. We are human biological battery energy that produces ichor from the spinal fire, which is the hell that we all carry around with us. This is how our biology is related to a battery. In a secondary cell, such as a rechargeable battery, the chemical reactions of the anode and cathode will reverse. When the cell battery is being charged, the anode is positive and the cathode is negative, and vice versa for discharge. What is a cathode? It is a negatively charged electrode and is the source of electrons entering an electrical device, yet is also the positively charged terminal of a voltaic cell or storage battery that supplies an electrical current. The anode is exactly the opposite of this. We have brain nodes which receive a positive charge to be recharged when we are dead, asleep, and we are then discharged by the cathode while we are alive or awake. That's what life and death is all about. about. Why is this extremely important to know? Because you and I are the rechargeable biological batteries that supposedly require absolution from the metonymy structure known as the Catholic Church of the Vatican. That's right. Catholic is in actuality cathodic. When a negative charge in the cycle happens, you as a good battery are supposed to go to the church and pray for a reversal of the sinful charges laid against you. The cathodic church will discharge you of your sin by reversing the charges because you have confessed them by versing them out in the pew. A negative will turn into a positive. This leads us to the basis of salvation, seeing that sal is the Latin word for salt, which is the electrical conduit for all of our biological ionic charges. Not only that, 
The Icelandic sol means soul, showing that it is the soul that is begging for this process of salvation. Why? Because the body needs salt, and in what is known in chemistry as an electrolyte solution, salt is put into water and the individual components dissociate because of the thermodynamic interactions or heat energy produced between the solvent and the solute molecules. That's why we carry our literal hell around with us. This is the process that the dead are begging for when screaming the Latin boatus, bodas, and crying for the David from the Star of David to drop the Savior Antichrist moon egg to pick up the Naki water spirits who are in hot water. In science, this electrolyte solution process is quite literally, believe it or not, called solvation. Salvation, solvation. So why are your sins versed out in the pew? Because your sins stink to high heaven, and in heaven everyone is heaven, because it stinks from all of the sulfur that we are producing, which makes the electricity inside of our biological batteries. On the basis of hierarchy and positions of power, there are different ranks, because the smell is rank, and the one who is higher in charge can then create more of a stink. In heaven, everyone is heaven from the rotten stink because everyone there is gagging, and a gag is a joke. Remember, this operation is all a divine comedy that is sick and twisted, and every commonly known saying and cliché is about the operation, handed to us from those on high. The aspect of us creating electric sulfur within the biology is all shown in the languages, as I will be getting to. To clarify the etymology of the word pew, it comes from the French pue, meaning stink, reek, and this correlates with us being used as slave batteries, since the Latin puera means servant, slave, page. The servant-slave pages that create a tremendous stink in heaven, heaven, from all of the reeking sulfur manifested because of our biological electricity production. How many more examples would need to be shown before the minds of the masses get that none of this is a coincidence? A thousand? A billion? Well, there are more than that. So the minds who fail to see these indications will just have to literally believe that everything is one huge coincidence. This would also be true, definitionally speaking, since a coincidence is the quality of occupying the same position or area of space such as the lies that people tell themselves, and the truth that exists despite the lies, the quality of occupying the same time and space. How does the electricity we make turn into sulfur that stinks to high heaven? Even in biology this is well known, since sulfur creates hydrogen sulfide in the body, which is one of the main gases that leads to the putrid smell of the fart made by the raft of the body ship. An anagram for fart is raft. To acquire the connections to this, we need to go back to the phonetic word sera that came about when the word ceremony was looked at, which turned into ceremony. The connections are easy to see and quick to find with this one. The Hindi word shir means lion, tiger, distich. What is a distich? two items of the same kind. One might even say that these two items are a married human couple. This is an interesting link since the Polish word graum literally means tiger. Another Polish synonym for tiger is the word tigris. The connection to the Tigris and Euphrates rivers that have always been said to be between the Garden of Eden. Go get em, tiger. In Armenian, the term Kervarar translates as a noun into English as Hector, tiger. 
Hector is the Trojan hero who is killed by Achilles, and Hector is related to the protection of the walls of the moon egg, which is the property that is destroyed by the horse. To this day, property is often measured in hectares because of this allegorical name of Hector. The Yoruba language hints at this property measurement with its word ikun, translated into English as zone, segment, tiger, and the adjective of regional. As related to the storyline of this matrix, the Khmer language has the word klia, that means phrase, tiger, sentence. The life sentence that indicates your earned military service stripes, tiger, to the V-shaped chalice of the moon cup, holy grail, which indicates the vaginal canal that gives birth to the soldiers who make more blood plasma and sulfur producing electricity in the mare called the moon. The Russian word sira means sulfur, brimstone, while the Latin word sulfura gives us brimstone, lightning, showing the connection between this gas and the electricity that is produced by it. It is produced in the moon as shown by the Italian sera, meaning evening, night, vesper. The moon that is going to provide you with relief, re-life, as shown by the connection of the Iliad allegory and the Dutch word helen, that means remedy. A remedy from the talon claws of the hawk god Ray, as depicted by the French word talon, that translates as heel, foot. The heel of hell, that is our Achilles heel, because the ETs use any means at their disposal to get us to accept this false matrix existence. Then we are tossed into this hell, which is the zodiac wheel of fortune in this game of life, as shown by the Norwegian word hell, which means success, luck. Though it may be etymologically denied, the word luck is most certainly rooted in the Indo-European term luke which produced the English word light. The closest the etymologists have gotten is by linking luck with the Middle High German Glück, which was the source of the modern German Glück, meaning good fortune, happiness, and German Glück for mother hen, the mother hen of the moon, giving birth to all of the human spirits. Without tying the Norwegian word hell, meaning luck, and the German word hell, meaning light, brightness, luminous, there couldn't be a correlation. This is why hell is where the bright light is found, sun, where we are spun on the zodiac wheel of fortune. It is also the reason why in sexual innuendo, people say that they're going to get lucky. To get lucky in hell, because luck, Luke, is light. Love and light. Anyone heard that before? We are kept in this game of life by the angel of death, Lucifer, as shown by the ancient esoteric term seraph, Sarah, pH, or pH of Sarah, sulfur, meaning angel of death, messenger of God. This is the angel of light, or the light at the end of the tunnel that you see during death when your biological battery body reaches a sulfuric acid pH level of one, and as connected to this angel of light, death, is a Latin word Lucifer that means light bringing, morning star, Satan, and the German word Hell translates into English as bright, vivid, light, lucid. In Hebrew, the seraphim were known as the fiery serpents because these are the order of angels that literally control our fates and rule over us. They have also been depicted as the servants of light, which comes from the acronym letters of Saul the name of the dead son. These beings create our sep, our rational existence by alchemically controlling the three alchemical principles of mercury, sulfur, and salt. 
the alchemical symbolism assigns this process to the zodiacal sign Scorpio because Scorpio is the kiss of death. We receive the kiss of death by appeasing the gods when we create more children, children for the horror of Babylon, as demonstrated by the Latin term scortum, meaning harlot, prostitute, skin, hide. From scortum, the English language got the word scrotum, while the Latin pio from scorpio translates as appease, propitiate, cleanse, expiate. Humanity scores sexually for the scorpion of Scorpio, which is the kiss of death from the scrotum. The scrotum that sends us flying to the moon to be rescued where we receive our next line in the lead role in this game of life. It is the moon that is the conservatory of humanity, as shown by the Turkish Sira meaning conservatory. The moon of heaven where everyone is heaving from the terrible stink of sulfur because this story stinks to high heaven. The Bulgarian language reveals this with its word sera that means shit. That's because humanity has cut the cheese and cheese has a lot of sulfur in it to make us flatulent. The moon has been said to be made of cheese and the Polish language word ser means cheese, because when we look into a camera, what does everyone say? Cheese. Why is this? Because that is part of the mental conditioning that humanity receives into accepting the white light program that is going to capture you again, as shown by the Latin word camera, that means vault, arch. The vault of the archons, archons, who control for us by tricking us with the false light of their beautiful sirens. The myths of the sirens whose song was so alluring and tempting to sailors that they could not resist it and then smashed into the rocks, moon, and were taken down into the abyss. That's what the jinn demons want you to do. Follow the beautiful sirens or religious saviors or family members to the end of the tunnel and then look into the light flash of their camera vault and say cheese. Since the Bulgarian sarin means cheese, Belarusian and Russian sir is cheese, Bosnian sir is cheese, and the Chinese surien translates into English as dead. To this day, when an emergency vehicle is headed to an accident, they blare their sirens because this is a warning to the accident victims that if they are approaching death, they may soon be reaching the sirens who are going to lead them into the light, which is back to the vaults of the moon, the moon made out of cheese, back to the gods who want you to smile for the camera. See you later, alligator. In a while. Crocodile.